The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The Spirit drove Jesus out into the desert, and he remained in the desert for 40 days, tempted by Satan. He was among wild animals, wild beasts, and the angels ministered to him. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. The gospel of the Lord. Today begins the first Sunday of the Lent. And as we can see from the gospel, it is very short. And the reason is because among the four gospels we have, gospel of Mark is the shortest. And one of the themes in the gospel of Mark is that, that of um, urgency. Mark is always in, in a haste. He just wants to report what he saw. So, but that is not the, the topic of this homily. But one thing about the Gospel of Mark, especially the one we just read, we can pick two things from this Gospel. First, we heard that after Jesus' baptism, Mark did not tell us that it was after his baptism. But what we heard from Mark is that the Spirit drove Jesus into desert. But if you read the Gospel of Matthew and Luke, you will see that it was immediately after his baptism, the Holy Spirit drove Jesus into the desert. And Another thing is that Mark says that Jesus, while he was in desert, he was among the wild beasts. The wild beast. I know many of us will be thinking right now, why did God just send his only begotten son at the baptism? Luke and Matthew told us that heaven opened and a voice shouted, this is my beloved son. Then, why is God sending his beloved son into the desert? And we know what desert is all about. I know what is going on in the world today. The suffering we are into. And many of us, sometimes we wonder, where is God? Why all this happening to me? I thought that Jesus loves me so much. I thought that the Bible says, when you are baptized, you are now God's own. But it is like after my baptism, that is when I started seeing a lot of troubles. Like many of us, before you got married, maybe things were going well for you. Before you became a Christian, especially a Catholic, everything was just fine. Your family was good, no one was sick, even yourself. Your body was good. But once you say that, I am now for Christ, that is when you started seeing a lot of troubles around you. 
and you begin to question God. Why all this? Why is it that only Christians are the ones suffering? Why non-Christians, those that don't even go to church, nothing bad happened to them? I know these are the questions we ask ourselves in our situations, especially in the world we live today. The world we live now is just like we are living among the wild beasts. When you wake up in the morning, if you don't want to get yourself angry, do not turn on your TV. Because once you do, the message we hear is, there was shooting. There was shooting in this state. This one killed an officer. Officer killed this one. This one happened in this country. Israel, Hamas, everywhere and you become confused. What is the type of world we live in today? And you will be asking God question, why all these? Why can't we just kill all these evil people in this world? I know these are the questions we ask ourselves many times. Why this problem? Why am I suffering? That is the main point. Why am I suffering in this world? I am a Christian. I never miss any mass. I contribute to the church. I pay my tithe. Why all this happening to me? The only option now you're thinking about is, is it not good I take my life, I commit suicide so that I will not suffer again? so that I will not hear this bad news from my children again. Why do you want to kill yourself? Because of problem. Why not look at Jesus on the cross? At the baptism, God says, this is my beloved son. And you too are God's beloved sons. If God would allow his beloved son to go in the midst of the wild beast, what about you? At the same time, we should look at Jesus. And one thing we should not forget is that Mark told us that why the Spirit drove Jesus into desert, the angels were also with Jesus in that desert. God did not allow the wild beast to destroy Jesus. Instead, the angels were with Jesus. So, brothers and sisters, whatever you're going through in life, I don't know your problem, but you know, but no matter what you're passing through in your life, remember that Jesus is with you in your desert. And the angels of God are also with you in your desert. And this is the homily. And this is what I have to tell you this Lenten period. Do not say that because you are Christian that you're not going to have temptation in your lives because temptation will come, but that temptation is not going to kill you because God is always with you. Brothers and sisters, I encourage you as we journey into this Lenten period to have faith in Jesus, no matter what is going on in your life, no matter what is going on in your family, Trust him and look at him on the cross. And every time you are into trouble, God's angels are with you. That is what the gospel says, that the angel was ministering to Jesus, which means Jesus was not alone. And you too are not alone. God's angels are around you. 
and may God bless you.